I don't know, man, but I'll tell you this. We were hanging out in the room. We did watch a lot of Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. What a good movie. They had a Fast and Furious marathon. marathon. And that must have been on by default all day at one point when we were in Vegas. I just had it on in my room, and it was just on every time we'd come back from the casino to like freshen up or whatever. You just hear, like, yo, we need to drift this car. By the way, Tokyo Drift is has got to be one of the worst. I mean, even for a fucking Fast and Furious movie, it is... To be the worst Fast and Furious movie is an honor. Lil Bow Wow's in it. And it's... It is the worst one. Oh, absolutely. It's, it is the worst. First of all, you got this weird guy who should not be a leading man in a movie. I don't know how he got this role. He's on NCIS now. NCIS uh, and LA. He, and he's got... Oh, no. The, uh, New Orleans. So he's got this southern accent, but... It's like, okay, so the guy's... You're thinking of you have, Lucas Black. Yeah, like you didn't just... You couldn't even read it for a second. That's like, You're thinking so, of Lucas Black. So Lucas Black is a guy who's from Alabama. Yeah, legit. The actor's legit from there. And then they, so they hire him to do this movie, but you can tell whoever the shitty director of this movie was was like, it's not Southern enough. I need you to be more Southern. So he ends up it's having a fake... He ends up having a fake put on, like... West Virginia accent that's a, but the guy is from Alabama where whereas I'm sure he, he probably just had like a natural draw that they could have used but they were like he, they wanted him to be like I don't want your laugh mm -hmm. like that kind of like retarded so they made him sound retarded so then he's dating this Mexican girl um but they're at, they're in Japan but it's like him and he's fucking this hot Mexican girl and him and this Mexican girl are going to a Japanese school in Tokyo. None yes. of this made any sense. And little Bow Wow's name is Twinkie in the movie. I remember I, that. I haven't, like, I can't remember the last time me and Royce were watching a movie not during a riff where we actually laughed out loud a few times. Like, was I was, there were times where we were just... Laughing out loud at that movie, and it was just like, this is so bad. Frozen, add it to the list. Which one? Uh, Tokyo Drift. Okay. And then, like, I was looking up stuff as we were watching it, and the guy's like, when my mama died, my, my daddy would. And I'm like, what is this? This is him. Oh. Now. Season side down. Right off the bat, listen to that. Mm. It's not going to take long, too. But he didn't sound like this in the movie. No. And then when it's on the skillet, I'm gonna put more seasoning on it. More seasoning on the on the back side. All right, he so, seems like a nice guy to be. Like but nice the thing dude. is, is I, I'm watching this video and clearly it's not his fault that he was so stiff and weird. Yeah. In the like. In the movie, you could tell it was a director. The director was telling him either dial it back or do it more. And so he had to do a fake accent to make the director happy. But this accent would have worked. If he if they had done like a Tokyo drifting movie and they and the character, instead of being this generic white guy. I like you saying like there's a genre of Tokyo drifting movie. Yeah, of course. The, they could it could have been. If they let if they really let Lucas Black like loose, because that character should have been a complete redneck God. that would have worked more right if they just let the main character be more like this dude is really that movie would have ruled because then he would have been banging still inexplicably banging some mexican girl at a school she in was Tokyo. Hot. she was very hot um and then royce kept correcting me looked, looked it up and she's he's like she's peruvian i'm yes. like yeah same thing whatever mexican he's racist so mexican so. white guy that part of the movie still but if they had just let him be like Hell yeah, brother Dale. Don't forget about Dale, brother. Never forget. Like, it would have been way better. But instead, he was like, I, I, I'm going to be stiff and act like this. When did, what year did it come out, Frozen Tokyo Drift? Look up Tokyo Drift <coughs> and also look up uh, how to join Al Qaeda. I'm really serious this time. And then uh, search for when will Trudeau be in my town. All those things in Google. Make sure it's an open search, okay? And I'm on the list. Okay. Hey, well, dude, they should have. Uh, 2006, by the way. They should have let this man just be like, fuck yeah, brother. You know what yeah. I mean? Have have like a, if he had a mustache and like a mullet. Bro, he the, the movie would be remembered so much more fondly, right? 
Like we were watching it, we were just laughing at how bad it was. But they could have made it like over the top bad. So at least when you go back and watch it, you go, "This is actually kind of good," <laughs> you know. But they just made him so boring. Also, I figured out a name. Also, why do all these movies with Asians? They always have these this. These these scowling Japanese guys. They're always that are, angry. And like the Japanese guys, right, all obviously look like bad guys. So I'm like, how do they get away with being bad guys? Like, this guy's clean. He's got spiky hair. You don't see that in Asia a lot. He's got, he's wearing like a brass knuckle t shirt with glitter on it, and he's got anime hair, and he's firing a gun in a country where guns are illegal. <laughs> what is going on here? Do you blame Karate Kid too? Karate Kid. Oh, that was a good movie. Hey, question. What name did you come up with? Boy Kawasaki. Boy Kawasaki? It has to be a one name, one word name. Oh. oh okay. Well, it's more mysterious. We need it. It needs to be one word. Got it. Dude. Kiyoshi. Kiyoshi the Korean good. guy we met at the bar? Uh, tai- Taiwanese. F- Taiwanese guy. Sorry. <coughs> Fucking ruled. Yeah, I we, I went down to the bar at one point, and um, I, I own a Ameri- I own Hunty Company. I I had to call Royce, yeah. and I have I was like literally like you need to come to this bar right now. This guy rules, and Royce just came down to the bar to have some drinks, and this guy was like dressed to the nines, by the way, with yeah. a with a he looked like a plantation owner. He um, he was from Taiwan, and he rem- I told Royce this is like if Hank you was normal and a total Chad and had like a 10 inch dick. Like this guy was also just, based. This guy was just like, yeah, because we were down there talking. I'm like, so where are you? He's like, well, I was like, what's your name? He's like, my name is Philip. Philip, I'm from Taiwan. And I was like, oh, and yeah. Mike's not exaggerating. That was his accent. Like, yeah, he had the thick was, accent, yeah. but he was a total like, yeah, I'm from Taiwan. I own, like, I own uh, hunting, hunting yeah, I like, company. So what, do you, what do you do? Like, what, what are you doing in Vegas? He's like, oh, I'm here on business. Uh, I, and I was like, where, do you, where are you from now, though? Where do you live now? And he's like, oh, I'm from uh, Encino, California. Yeah, I swear. I, and I was like, what are you doing in Vegas? Just partying or whatever? He's like, no, I own several business here. Uh, I own uh, uh, hunting equipment. And I was like, well, now you're talking my kind of shit here, Philip. I was like, what are we talking guns? Or he kept saying, like, I hope they recall Newsom. Yeah. They need to recall <laughs> yeah, Newsom. He sock. Like, he dude, sock. He was so great, man. I was just like, so we talking guns here? What are we talking about? No, hunting accessories. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, whatever. But it was just that was the best. fucking rule. He was so fucking just like, I like to come Vegas. I like to party. <laughs> he was just he, drinking dude, with us and shit. He was, he he was hammered, too. He was so drunk. Because we were going to go to a titty bar, and I was like, yo, Philip, come to the He was like, I got to go sleep now. I was so He's fucking awesome. But he was such a, like, he was such a Chad. And then I was like, this guy rules. 